Hey guys, welcome back sa ating basic web development tutorial series, part 11. So for today, we are going to talk about JavaScript's DOM event. So ito na yung huling episode natin for basic web development series. So syempre guys, magpo-post pa rin kami about basic web development but hindi na part ng ating series na to. So more on application na lang ng mga natutunan natin dito sa series na to. So, ito na yung huling episode for our basic web development series. So, yun na nga guys. So, let's get back to the topic. So, guys, without further ado, ano nga ba yung DOM events? So, ang DOM events, it allows a JavaScript to react to HTML events such as clicking, hovering, and releasing. So, yun nga, yung DOM events. So, pagka nag-click tayo ng isang tag, may mangyayaring function. So, pagka tinapat natin yung mouse natin sa isang tag, may mangyayaring function. So, may ginagawa sa JavaScript when that event happens. And pag hinold din natin yung left mouse button and nirelease natin yung left mouse button. So, marami tayong DOM events but we are not going to tackle everything here. So, kasi magtatagal tayo ng sobra. So, okay. Yung DOM events are added directly to the HTML tag. So, example nga nito is here. So, may tag tayo and then yung may event tayo and then equals yung function na irarun natin and then yung end tag nung ating element. So, yung event na to, guys, so, if you watch the last two videos, yung about HTML DOM and CSS DOM, we used onClick method. So, gumawa tayo ng onClick event. So, eto event na to, which means onClick to, and then equals yung function na iraraan natin. So, kung nanood kayo nung last two episodes natin. So, guys, kung hindi nyo pa alam yung HTML DOM and CSS DOM, then you better watch that video first kasi hindi nyo maintindihan to. So, yun nga guys. So, yung event is, yung example niya is yung onclick na ginamit natin last time. So, okay. Huwag natin patagalin to kasi medyo marami yung i-discuss natin. Then, next tayo. So, ito yung mga example ng DOM events. So, we have here the onclick whenever a mouse click occurs on a tag may irara ng function. And then, we have on mouse over. So, pagka nag-hover tayo or tinapatan natin ng mouse yung isang element, mag- raran siya ng function. And then, yung kabalik na naman ni on mouse over yung on mouse out. So, pagka analyze natin yung pagkakatapat ng cursor dun sa ating element. And then, we have the on mouse down, which is pagka hinold natin yung left mouse button sa isang element, meron siya irara na function. And then, yung vice versa naman niya is yung tinatamag na on mouse up. So, pagka naman inalis na natin yung pagkakahold dun sa left mouse button. And then, we have the on load which is pagka-loading ng ating website here with the website is finished loading, meron siyang irarad na function. And then meron naman tayong huling huli which, which is called on change whenever a form's value is changed. So ito, i-explain ko to. So guys, naalala nyo pa di ba meron tayong input tag which is pwede tayong mag-type ng mga information, pwede password or anything. So once na may detect na nagbago doon, then the JavaScript will react and then magraran siya ng function. So, yun yung on change. So, hindi lahat ito yung DOM events. So, marami pang DOM events and I will leave the link in the description. So, pag-aralan nyo yung iba pang DOM events kasi uh, marami siyang possibility. So, okay. So, yun na nga guys. So, para mas maintindihan natin, let's apply this to our code and let's go to Notepad++. So, we have here a basic structure of HTML as usual. And we have a script, external JavaScript, which is called fnc.js, which is ito yun, yung fnc.js, yung nasa kabilang tab natin. So, dapat magkasama sila sa isang folder. Dapat alam nyo na yun by now. Kung hindi nyo pa alam, then watch the previous videos para maintindihan nyo kung paano gawin yung external JavaScript. Okay, so, let's start. So, meron na tayo ditong body na may laban lang na ganito. So, papakita ko sa inyo kung ano itura niyan. Let's launch in Chrome. So, meron tayong click me, hover me, hold left mouse button here na h1. And then, we have the input type text na may placeholder na name. So, yun lang yung ating website. So, simple, simple lang. So, hindi pa gumagana yan. Pag click natin yan, walang nangyayari. So, pag hindi natin yan or head over. So, yun yung gagawin natin for today, guys. So, guys, ang una natin pag-aaralan na DOM event is called the on click. So, ginamit na natin to last episode. So, Paano nga ba tayo mag implement ng on-click events sa ating age 1? So, or sa elements natin. So, kanina nga nakita nyo yung syntax. So, ilalagay nyo lang sa loob ng tag. So, dadagdagan lang natin to So, space, on-click. 
then equals, dalawang quotation marks, and then dito sa gitna is yung function na gagawin natin. So, gagawa muna tayo ng function. Then, lipat kayo sa JavaScript nyo. Okay. So, again, nalagyan natin function keyword. So, dahil yung naalala nyo pa yung paggawa ng function, kung hindi nyo pa alam gumawa ng function, then panoorin nyo yung video about functions. Space, yung function name natin. So, akin papangalan ko na lang. Click event. Then, dalawang parenthesis, then curly braces. Save. So, yan. Meron na tayong function called click event. So, naalala nyo pa guys, tinuro ko yung parameter. So, we will put obj here. So, obj stands for object. So, bakit natin kailangan ng parameter dyan? So, mamaya makikita nyo. So, ang ilalagay kasi natin dito is obj dot inner html. So, papalitan natin yung inner html ng obj na pinasa natin dyan. Then, equals to hidden message. So, ayan guys. So, huwag kayong malilito kung bakit may obj dyan. Mamaya may indindahan nyo kung bakit. So, lipat tayo dito sa index.html and then ilagay natin yung function name which is click event. So, click event. Then, dalawang parenthesis. Save. And then, as you can see guys, meron tayong kailangan na parameter here. So, yung ilalagay lang natin dito is lalagay lang natin this. So, ano ibig sabihin ng this? So, from the English term this, eto. So, eto. Ibig sabihin nga, tinuturo niya etong element na to, kunin mo, and then ibigay mo dito sa function na to. So, ibig sabihin yung obj.innerHTML is yung laman na itong h1 na to, which is yung click me. So, papalitan natin yan ng hidden message. So, hindi na natin kailangan gamitin yung document.getElementById chuchu na yan. So, hindi na natin kailangan ng mahaba So, we can use this. So, pwede natin gamitin yung this keyword, which means itong h1 na to. So, inuturo niya kung nasaan yung event. So, then ibibigay niya doon sa function natin. So, guys, pagka-save natin yan, and then pumunta tayo doon sa website natin, i-reload natin. So, yan, guys, wala pa nagbabago. And as you can see, may click me here. And then, if we click this, as you can see, lumabas, hidden message. So, gumana na at ang ating on-click event. So, ginamit natin yung function na click event. So, yun lang guys yung click event. So, may mangyayaring function pagka ni-left click natin. So, pwede din natin palitan yung style nyan. So, mas madali na ngayon. Kunwara, obj.style.fontfamily is equals to Montserrat. Save. Then, i-reload natin to. And as you can see guys, pagka ni-left click ko to, magbabago din yung font nya hidden message. So, gumanda yung font, di ba? So, yun yung nagagawa ng ating on-click event. So, basically, kahit ano, pwede nyo nang gawin dito sa loob ng event na to. So, pagka kinlik natin yung click me na to, yun yung mangyayari. So, okay guys. So, let's move on to hover me. So, ano yung gagawin natin dyan? So, pagka tinapat yung cursor, magbabago yung laman. So, ano yung tawag dun sa function, sa event na yun? On mouse over. So, yan. Meron tayong on mouse over. Which means, yung on mouse over is pagka hinover natin yung ating cursor dun sa element na yun, may mangyayari. So, equals, dalawang quotation marks. So, I think naman na-gets nyo na yung logic. So, paulit-ulit na lang yan, guys. So, again, gagawa tayo ng function. So, copy na lang natin to. Paste. Then, papangalan na natin to na hover event. Save natin yan. And then, ang papalit naman natin dito is hello, friends kumansarat yung ating font family. So, save natin yan. And then, puput natin dito yung function name. So, hover event. Then, we will call this. So, ibig sabihin yung h1 naman na to. So, yung this kung nasaan yung event, yun yung ipapasa niya at ibabalik niya dito sa ating function. So, in this case, yung this na to sa hover event is referring to this h1 na may laman na hover me. And then, papalitan natin siya ng hello friend and font family na monsera. So, save natin yan, save natin yan. And as once we reload this, okay, magre-reset ulit yan. So, click me, gagana yan. And then, yung hover me, pagka tinapat natin yung mouse natin, mag-iiba. So, as you can see, hinover ko, naging hello, friends. So, okay guys, so pagka inalis natin yung pagkaka-hover natin dyan, hindi na gagana yan. So, hindi na gagana yan. So, guys, paano nga ba natin maibabalik yung dating value? nya pagka inalis natin yung cursor. So guys, tinuro ko sa inyo kanina, meron pang isang kabaligtaran ni on mouse over which is called on mouse out. So pagka umalis yung mouse dun sa ating element, yun yung irarad. So guys, pwede tayong maglagay ng multiple events sa isang tag. So pwede pa tayong magdagdag na isa pang 
event dito. So, I will put um, on mouse out is equals to dalawang quotation mark. Then, gagawa ulit tayo ng bagong panibagong function for this. So, let's copy this and then we will just say unhover event. Unhover event. Then, tanggalin natin to. Then, babalik natin sa hover me. Hover me. Save. Then, ipuput natin dito yung ating function name. And hover event, then papasa natin yung this, which is yung etong ang h1 na to. So, sinave na natin. And as you can see guys, pagka nireload natin to, reload, again, nag-reset siya. Click me, hidden message. And then once we hover this, hello friends, and once we tanggal the hover, when we tanggal. So, pagka inalisan natin yung ating cursor, babalik siya sa hover. So, hindi na babalik yung kanyang font family kasi iniba na natin and hindi na natin binalik yung font family but there you go, gumagana. Hello friends! Then inalis natin, magiging hover ni Uli yung laman. Okay? So gets nyo ba? So okay, let's go and uh, mag-proceed na tayo sa susunod which is yung hold left mouse button here. So yung dalawa na yan is magka-partner. On mouse down and on mouse up. So yung first one is yung on mouse down. So on mouse down, space, on mouse down equals to, save natin, then gagawa ulit tayo ng bagong function, so ulit-ulit lang yan, down event, then, hi friends naman, hi friends, save, then save na natin yan, and then ipuput natin again yung function here, which is called down event, then ipuput natin yung this, so which means etong h1 na to, yung may laman na hold left mouse button here, so save natin, and as you can see guys, dahil wala siyang kapartner, mag action na as in parang on-click lang yung function niya. So, pagka walang kapartner to na on-mouse up, parang on-click lang siya. So, tingnan natin kung ano yung magiging itsura. Reload natin, click me, hover me, hello friends. Tapos alisin natin yan, okay? So, then hold left mouse button here. Pagka kinlik ko lang na isa yan, magiging high friends na agad yan. So, bakit ganun guys? Di ba sinabi ko? hold left mouse button niya. So guys, dahil wala siyang kapartner na on mouse up, so wala, walang magbabalik sa kanya dun sa kaninang nakalagay. So kailangan may kapartner siya lagi na on mouse up. So again guys, pwede tayong mag multiple events sa isang tag so we can put on mouse up here. On mouse up is equal to the quotation mark and then again we will make another function. So repetitive lang siya. So Pag mag-aaral kayo ng bagong function, madadalian na lang kayo. So, we will name this app event. Then, ibabalik natin siya sa hold left mouse button here. So, copy natin yan and then paste natin dito. Save. Then, ilagay na natin yung function dito. App event. And, and, yes, app event. Then, this. Save natin yan. And then, let's reload this. So, pag na-reload natin yan, click me, hover me. Then, here, pag hinold natin yung left mouse button, Hi friends! And then pagka release natin, hold left mouse button here. So, left click, hold, release. Left click, hold, release. So, kahit alisin natin yun hanggang hindi natin nire-release, hindi magbabago yan. So, yan na guys. So, yun yung on mouse up and on mouse down. So, yun na. Next na tayo, which is called on load. So, yung on load, it just occurs whenever the website loads. So, dito sa body, madalas nilalagay yung onload. So, let's put onload here, then equals, dalawang quotation mark. Save. Nandito tayo sa my FNC, gagawa ulit tayo ng bagong function sa ating JavaScript function. Load event. Then, hindi na natin kailangan ng any parameters. Kasi mag alert lang tayo. So, alert. Website. Loaded. Save. Then, let's put here our function which is called load event then dalawang parenthesis so wala tayong parameters and then let's reload this and as you can see website loaded lalaba so uh, you can really tell na loaded but loaded siya but hindi pa lang display once you click ok magdi display na siya as you can see so yun lang yung ginagawa ng onload so ano ba yung halaga ng onload so guys pag mayroon kayong gustong ira na function sa una or may gusto kayong i-validate sa una. So, sa onload natin, gagawin lahat yan. So, doon natin i-run yung mga function na yun. Okay? So, gets ba? Good. So, ayan na. Save natin muna to. Save muna natin to. And then, we will now proceed sa ating input, which is called yung on-change naman. So, guys, kanina, I'll explain ko na yung on-change. 
So kunwari uh kunwari naglagay tayo dito ng something. So A B C D. So madedetect ni JavaScript na nagbago yung laman niya and then we will may may iraran siya na function para dito sa input type na to. So kunwari nagtay pa tayo. So malalaman niya uli na nagbago so iraran niya uli yung function na yan. So what we want to do is kunwari nagtype tayo na A B C D. Ang mangyayari is may lalaki siya sa so, magiging magiging A B C D. Okay? So parang ano lang 'yan para makita natin kung gumagana yung on change. So guys, let's put on change here, on change is equals to the quotation mark save. Then ipa tayo sa function natin and then let's make another function. So we will name this change event. So need natin ng ating parameter kasi gagamitin natin yung input type so babaguhin natin yan. Save natin. So ang kukunin natin guys is hindi inner HTML kundi yung obj.value. So ano yung obj.value? So yung sa input type text kasi natin na input type password once we say na dot value it is called yung ano yung nasa loob niya. So kunwari itong obj.value na itong ating input type is yung ABCD. So, yun yung value niya. So, pagka pinalitan natin yung SHAD, so, yun na yung magiging value niya. So, makukuha niya SHAD. So, ang gagawin natin is isa-set natin yan. So, isa-set natin siya ng obj.value din. So, yun na set lang natin siya. But this time, that to uppercase. So, alam niyo naman yung uppercase which means yung um, yung mas malaki, yung malaki yung letter. So, kunwari, eh, siya may B na ganyan. So, gets yun naman na yun. So, yun na yung ginagawa niya. So, let's go back sa ating index.html and then ilagay natin yung function name which is change event tapos ipapasa natin yung this which means yung input tag natin yung ipapasa natin doon sa function. Then, sinave na natin and then let's see kung ano yung mangyayari. So, reload natin to Website loaded. Okay, click me. Over me. Hold the mouse button. So, dito, kunwari, nag-type tayo ng A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So, ayan na. So, pagka inalis ko dito yung aking focus, so pagka nag-left click ako sa labas, as you can see, lalaki na yung laman nung nasa loob. So, nag-detect niya na may nagbago. So, kung nga, nagdagdag pa tayo ng ayan. So, pagka pumindot ulit tayo sa labas, lalaki uli yung maliit na yun. So, guys, so, ang on-change is mahalaga para sa pag-check kung nga rin. So, yung password natin is ma maigse. So, yun yung gagawin natin. So, pagka nag-detect ni javascript na maigsi yung ating password and then meron na siyang inonotify na niya yung user na maigsi yung password. So, hindi na niya kailangan hintayin na pindutin pa yung register tapos mag -e error lang. So, yun yung ginagawa ni onchange. Nagde-detect siya ng change sa isang element. So, yun lang yung ginagawa niya. So, yun na. Na-discuss na natin lahat ng ating events na madalas ginagamit. So, guys, um, yun lang for today. And sinabi ko nga, hindi lang yan yung door event. So, mag-aral kayo. So, nilive ko yung link sa description. And then, pag-aralan nyo pa yung ibang DOM events kung gusto nyo. And, ayun lang. Thank you guys for watching this video. And, as always, guys, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.